what happens if Jimmy G is released or cut by the Raiders because of this failed physical? Does that affect the 49ers comp picks? Which is a legit question. Because that kind of cancels out the Javon Hargrave signing. So here's what I know. I went back through, read the uh, NFL bylaws and how they determine compensation picks and all that stuff and whatever else. Um, this is where it gets interesting because all of the compensation financial capital, there's three parts to the formula for comp picks, okay? Um, one of them is financial. That's the biggest one. What you spend, I'm going to show you the table from over the cap, and I think that might clear some of this up. Two is playing time. Three is postseason awards. But the biggest one is financial capital, okay? So here we go. I'm going to throw this up there. You guys can't see my face, but this is from over the cap. They do a hell of a job. And it just shows this is the way in which they determine what teams get or don't get in the compensation pick formula. And a lot of teams don't get it. Now, the Niners have continued to build their entire roster and replenishing thing through this compensation pick formula. You, you build up homegrown talent. You sign undervalued free agencies. You build them into quality players. You allow them to go sign elsewhere for money, collect the compensation picks, rebuild the back end of your roster. Right? That That's the idea. Now, at the top of this list, and if you're listening audio-wise, I'm going to do my best to explain this uh, verbally so that you can kind of paint the picture. Jimmy Garoppolo signs for $24.25 million. That's huge. That canceled out. Now, we would have got a third-round comp pick for that. However, we signed Javon Hargrave for $21 million. Those cancel each other out. And so with that, the financials there... That's kind of set, okay? So, like, if Jimmy Garoppolo gets cut, that won't affect the financial aspect of the three-part formula. It will affect postseason awards, which I doubt either of these players will get, or, more importantly, playing time. Now, here's the best news. Jimmy signed for $24.25 million. Hargrave signed for $21 million. So there's a little wiggle room where that might be able to offset, you know, these third round picks because the way it's currently set, these two cancel each other out. The 49ers get a third round pick for McGlinchey. There was no counteractive sign there to cancel that out. We get a fifth for Samson Ebukong. Now, Charles Omenihu and Sam Donald canceled each other out. That would have been a six, but here's the good news. Jimmy Ward's a six. Emmanuel Mosley's a six. Aziz Al Shire's a six. Daniel Brunskill's a seventh. Isaiah Oliver and Hassan Ridgeway canceled each other out. But the rules state in the bylaws, no team shall receive more than four comp picks for player losses. Which means, currently as things sit, the 49ers would get a third for McGlinchey, a fifth for Ebukam, a sixth for Ward, a sixth for Mosley. The Aziz pick, we don't get because you only get four. The Daniel Brunskill pick, we don't get because you only get four. So... All being lost in this, I don't think it's going to dramatically affect the overall compensation picks awarded to the 49ers uh, because there was that extra $3 million space in there. And the Niners are should be getting six comp picks, but there's a max of only four player comp picks. Now, I know somebody's listed this going, wait a second, didn't we get five or six last year? Yes, we did. Four were player comp picks, two were front office. Right, losing D'Amico, losing um, Rand Carthon, losing those guys, that doesn't figure into the four-player max compensation award that you can re you can receive. So the 49ers next year, guess what? They will be getting their four-player comps plus that extra third for D'Amico and Rand Carthon, uh, which you will get in 2024 draft and 2025 draft because that goes three years, if that makes sense. Um, so hopefully that makes sense. So I don't think it's going to really affect the way it works because the Mike McGlinchey pick should still be unmatched. Um, because the financials that, that closed right after the draft. That's why teams are now signing more free agents because it doesn't figure into the, the, the compensation picks, if that makes sense. Uh, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> it, it's a pretty, um, how do I say this? It's a pretty full there's a lot of ins and outs and all that stuff. And you can only receive four and play time, this formula. So it's that over the cap does the best job ever at figuring out these comp picks. But again, it's not finalized. Play time, 
playing time and offseason awards still figure into that. But I don't think it's going to affect the 49ers one way or another. Now. The 49ers Rush Podcast. 